हेलो मैम माई नेम इज रजेश शुक्ला आई एम फ्रॉम कॉलेज दुनिया डॉट कॉम सो मैम टूडे वी हैव विद अस डॉक्टर वंदना सोनावनी डायरेक्टर ऑफ सिम्बाइसिस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ऑपरेशन मैनेजमेंट नाशिक डॉक्टर सोनावनी इज ए रेसिप्रियंट ऑफ द डिस्टिंग्विश सर्विस अवार्ड फॉर हर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू फॉस्टरिंग मैनेजमेंट रिसर्च आउटस्टैंडिंग बी स्कूल डायरेक्टर अवार्ड बाई ए आई एम एस इंटरनेशनल एंड इंडियन लीडरशिप अवार्ड फॉर एजुकेशन एक्सीलेंस बाई ऑल इंडिया अचीवर्स फाउंडेशन न्यू दिल्ली लास्ट ईयर Uh, she was conferred on the Indra Parikh 50 Women in Education Award by World Education Congress. Welcome to the interview, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, sir. So, uh, should we start with the interview, ma'am? Yes. So, uh, ma'am, my first question to you is that uh, you have held key positions at education institutes throughout your professional career. So, what keeps you connected with the education sector, and how has your experience been so far with the institute? Education sector in today's times is very agile and happening. and one thing that connects us with the field of education is the uh, is is the capacity to change and personally i i like uh, the fact that my job connects me with the youngsters of today's uh, generation and uh, it it's a great feeling because uh, when when you, when you are in touch with youngsters you are able to influence their thinking you are able to understand where the generation is going and i feel uh as a part of an educationist you are able to really imbibe in them great values and uh, really unleash their true potential uh, that's what i really like about education sector and at least said ma'am uh, so ma'am uh, moving to the next question that uh, being the director of symbiosis institute of operations management what is your philosophy of leadership and how would you describe your leadership style So I I read a book and I attended one of this workshop also. Uh, Jim Collins has written this book, Level Five Leadership. We all feel that uh, leaders are great managers, you know, in that sense. Uh, he talks about the Level Five Leadership, which means there is a beautiful combination of uh, two very contradictory things. One is the persuasion of the passion, the aggression to achieve. and the second is the humility to really do your things so aggression and humility both put together you know so i think that is that is where i come from uh, there is a great passion to really take the institute to a higher level but at the same time there is uh, i feel humility really wins hearts and mm. connects you to people in the true sense so if you ask me what is my basic style of leadership this is what it is uh what we really uh, want to showcase to the students is uh, more of an adaptive type of leadership yeah because we we are churning out leaders for the industry who are going to be uh, displaying adaptive type of leadership which means uh, handling chaotic times with lot of calm and patience yeah in that mm-hmm. sense so both these leadership uh, approaches are very very useful the right man Uh, so, ma'am, moving to the next question, that how do you strategize about the key programs and plans for the marketing and administrations of your institute, being the director of SIOM? So, Symbiosis, of course, is a brand uh, in itself. Our parent brand itself is very, very strong, no doubt about it. Within that, uh, SIOM is a very niche institute in the field of operations and supply chain. Yeah. so uh, naturally uh, th- there is a brand equity that always is uh, we we enjoy amongst all the mbs parents but uh, when we are talking of marketing campaigns as such uh, we want to showcase our connect with the industry yeah so uh, because i think that is what really helps we want to connect with the industry and let them know that this is the program and these are the type of people we are as well as we want to connect with the mbs parents so there is there is there are campaigns at both the ends yeah. aspirants for us uh, they have positioned us as an b school for engineers uh, preferably with work experience so we try to connect to those people through linkedin through various forum through various events as such yeah uh, otherwise as such we don't really do too much of marketing as such online is great nowadays mm-hmm. so digital marketing works very well word of mouth works very well we've got many aspirants who have come because their bosses have studied here so i i think that is how even our alumni who are there in the industry mm-hmm. they throw back a lot of uh, good talent to us in the form of mbs finance so uh, we are concentrating on these things actually to really take out 
uh, what we are good at and share it with the people out right ma'am uh, so ma'am uh, according to you that uh, what is the greatest strength of symbiosis institute of operations management nashik greatest strength is the industry oriented curriculum mm-hmm. yeah and industry interfaced learning experience uh, these are two things if you take out industry presence uh, from siom we are nothing yeah mm-hmm. because we uh, we roll out a very very niche program and this whole institute is dedicated to one specialization that is operations and supply chain yeah so that is why the curriculum is also very niche uh, one thing that is really sort of a gold star uh, on uh, on our brand is the curriculum industry interface curriculum and the industry interface learning yeah the, on an average every student does around 3 to 4 projects while he or she is doing an mba here they qualify to one or more international certifications while they are here this is all what the industry wants yeah and right. that's how it is a very practical experiential type of a learning and and that's that's the key uh, differentiator that we have right ma'am uh, so ma'am uh, moving to the next question that the education system in india and the foreign countries are structured very differently so in your experience what can an inbound student gain from studying here in your institute yeah good question uh, that is because whenever we talk of international internationalization is the heart throb of symbiosis actually yeah mm. whenever we talk about uh, international collaborations now uh, the key thing that we offer to the people out there is again the practical oriented learning yeah and also the focus that we have on supply, uh, supply chain and operations so we have uh, some of our students who go out they also go out our collaboration is mainly with institutes who have a dedicated department in operations and supply chain so any international inbound student who is looking forward to studying uh, you know uh, such a program i think is most welcome to srr and this is the key thing that they are going to be offered here by right? apart from of course the cross cultural learning that happens here because Uh, our campus is like a mini india mm-hmm. people are there from all across states and uh, this international inbound student is going to get a very great experience you know while studying with indian students here and of course interacting with the industry and learning the the uh, most uh, contemporary and best practices right ma'am uh, so ma'am any insights into how the institute could be more welcoming to the students of different races or economic backgrounds yeah i think races of course economic backgrounds we we already have a reservations policy so we have a certain quota as per the ugc norms attached to people from economically backward uh, you know uh, the same uh, areas also uh, particularly when it comes to gender i feel i especially want to appeal to all the girls uh, uh, engineering girls who want to study in si1 to really look at this career I think one challenge that we do face is attracting more girl students. Whereas the industry does want to have diversity in their uh, in their recruitments, but uh, uh, there is a bias, you know, in uh, amongst the girl candidates that operations and supply chain is not for them. But it is not so. If you look at SIM alumni, there are our girl students who are procurement heads in mining industries. There are people who are into analytics. There are people who are into logistics, you know. so that there are of course there is a consulting wing which is which is most uh, aspired by many students yeah so uh, i i believe girls should also really look at this type of a profession and not really get biased towards it being you know belonging to men or boys as such but yes sri welcomes everyone here and this is the most enriching thing that they right ma'am So uh, ma'am uh, my next question is that what are some of the biggest challenges you see both for higher education in general and for the SIM specifically uh, for specifically SIM i just told you getting more girls candidates mm-hmm. that is a challenge for us yeah but uh, at the macro level uh, again education system you know we are in a transition phase yeah uh, nep being announced just uh, two years back the national education policy now we have to really shift our gears in line with the nep and uh, and look at uh, a, a new future as such it's a great welcome idea uh, in fact a welcome step because everything that we were aspiring to be uh, doing in the field of education 
whether it is flexibility whether it is uh, practical learning whether it is collaborations with foreign universities internal universities all is there yeah mm. uh, so i i think it, it is very interesting times that we are into challenge is going to be the implementation phase because typically in india we have different types of universities yeah different types of institutes everyone caters to a particular segment of demand there and to put everyone under one basket is going to be slightly different or difficult as such but uh, future looks to be great because uh, the government of india has taken this taken up this nep implementation and i'm sure that every educationist is going to be happy about it mm-hmm. particularly because it brings a lot of flexibility to the students yeah the entry exit uh, 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 sort of facilities that are there uh, shorter duration of uh, degrees and other things so i think it's going to be good right ma'am uh, so ma'am my next question to is that any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students I think one suggestion I would or I would appeal I would like to give them is to really explore themselves you know there is a uh, there is a lot of herd mentality that happens typically when it comes to an MBA uh, education as such or MBA admissions as such yeah uh, if your friend is doing something you want to do something yeah if your seniors have done something you want to do the same thing uh, I think I really want to urge the youth that they have they have unlimited potential. You know, today's youth tries themselves at so many areas. You know, the the whole world is exposed to them in terms of information, in terms of so many a network, reach to people, yeah, which was not there earlier. So uh, I really want the youth to explore themselves in different areas, try out things, uh, to learn and really enjoy. Uh, you know, learning more things, not just. uh typically in india you know you want to seal your profession at 10th and 12th standard that should not be the case you know you should not decide what you are going to do in 10th and 12th standard <laughs> right, right right so uh, they must explore they must study new subjects different subjects they must interact with people uh i think that is that is one area you know uh, youth of today of course they socialize quite a lot but when it comes to men- seeking mentors when it comes to really learning from others you know mm-hmm. i think they need to really form relationships and networks for that area but but i i am very appreciative and i really love the way uh, youth is coming forward taking up challenges you know in spite of so many uh, problems that we have had you know with the covid or so many other things so uh, explore yourself be bold uh, believe in your dreams yeah and go forward <laughs> rightly said ma'am uh, so uh, thank you so much ma'am uh, this was an insightful session for everyone so ji thank you thank you so much thank you